hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel in this simple video i'm going to show you how you can create some simple fireworks animations using this jquery plugin the fireworks js plugin you forgive me for if it lags it's because of the recording frame rates of the screen but that's what i'm going to be showing you if it's on your pc you'll see it clearly so right now i'm going to go back in my text editor vs code and save this and the moment i save it we are going to lose everything in the browser so we are going to be starting from scratch so what you need to do is go to this site i'm going to leave the links in the description below and download this fireworks js plugin so you just have to click this button and it will give you a zipped file that you extract and pick a file that will look like this so jquery.fireworks.js and then you need to be having jquery because this is a dependent on this so you just head to jquery.com click this big orange button then click the first link download the complete or production jquery then they will bring you to this page just press ctrl s on your keyboard for saving and make sure you save it in the same folder that you are going to be carrying your projects from very very simple so these are the two sites that i will be sharing with you in the description below so that you get these things the first thing we are going to do is create a simple div here because in the documentation of this plugin they tell you to create a simple div and give it any class but i'm going to use the class that the plugin used but you can call it anything it can be a section but make sure you reference to that class that you'll be creating so i'm going to give this div a class of demo so i'm using what the documentation used so i'm going to put this div with a class of demo then right here in the head section i'm just going to create an internal style using my script tags then i'm going to target that demo class and i'm going to give it a background color background color of black sorry you can use three or six then i'm going to give it a width of a hundred percent and the height it's going to be a hundred viewport height so 100 vh and if you are to check in the browser this is what we are having but we need to remove this extra this margin and padding that you're seeing around there so i'm going to target the html and body and we say we want their margin to be at zero and also padding because you don't want that extra white that you saw as you can see we are having a black background then for us to get the other fireworks, fireworks that you saw remember we have created a div and gave it a class of demo so right before the closing body tag we are going to place our script tags here and the first script tag should be linking to jquery because it's what we are going to be depending on as you can see it's suggested here so we are going to first select jquery and put it there then below it we are going to create another script tag and the source attribute is going to be pointing to the jquery.fireworks.js so this is the plugin that is going to be giving us that functionality then below here we are going to create our custom script tag because it's what we are going to be it's where we are going to be writing our code then we just need to write jquery that dollar symbol and then we select that div with the class of demo so this one that you saw here so demo oh non <laughs> demo demo and we, you say dot fireworks so this is the function fireworks and it takes in an object so it's a property or function the way you can call it and it takes in 
an object and the first thing that you can do here is put opacity you can decide on the opacity that you want to put on the screen so we shall go with 0 0.9 for now and let's say if you want the sound like when fireworks is uh, setting off in case you need the sound you can put sound and set it to true because it's a boolean it's a it's either true or false so with only this if you save and preview in the browser you will see those fireworks very very simple we have just written this link to the files jquery and jquery.fireworks.js then we just targeted this div with a class of demo we passed in this fireworks function and this simple object that is full of op options so opacity you can say to that in case you want sound you may not hear it right now but if you you are to do it on your pc you'll be able to hear the sound so you can set it to false if you don't want users to be hearing that sound or true if you want them to be listening to that sound of the fireworks so this is a very very simple tutorial so let me show you the other word that was here now this is an extra tip but that's what had brought us here so i'm going to forward this and show you how i made that